Good morning, my name is Rob and welcome back to Rad Stuff Photo Video. And what a beautiful morning it is as well, like look at that light. Whew. So today I want to talk to you about looking at things from a different perspective in photography. So we're going to go to a local beauty spot, like the local beauty spot, the place everyone goes when they get the first camera, like the first day they get it. We're going to go to this local beauty spot, we're going to point our camera at the reason everyone goes to this local beauty spot and then we're just going to turn our camera and look at something else. I'll get to why later on in the video. I should probably get dressed first. All right, so a bit of context for today's video. So if you see any of my recent videos, you already know this. Um, we're back in lockdown here in Wales, which means we can't really go out unless it's to buy groceries or exercise or whatever. So the rule is you can go for a walk or a hike as long as it starts from and ends at your front door. So as far as you can walk, that's what you're allowed to do. So what I know a lot of people are doing is they're going out for their walks and they're just taking the camera with them. It's some good exercise and it's a good way to get some creativity in as well. So that is what we're going to do today. But first I'm going to have to finish this cup of tea because I am, uh, I am British after all. <laughs> all right, so let's just pack my camera stuff. So you go there, you go there. Let's leave this big space for the most important bit. There we go. Good, let's go. All right, so we are getting closer to the spot where I'm gonna to get to the point of today's video. I present to you, this is a waterfall. No, wait, that's definitely not it. This is this a waterfall. <laughs> so my original plan was I was gonna walk out on that bridge and get some footage for you, but uh, this has kind of scuffed my plan a little bit because the bridge has been completely blown out by a flood, uh, but this, is perfect for today's video because this is exactly the point I want to make about different perspectives and how the obvious answer isn't always the right answer. Okay so this is going to be slightly more difficult to explain because I can't get underneath the waterfall because the bridge has been totally blown out by the flood but basically behind that wall there is this huge waterfall. I'll try and get a different angle to sort of show you what the waterfall looks like where it is and what usually happens and I can say this from experience because it's the first thing I did when I got my first big boy camera is the waterfall's there the plucky photographer sets up a tripod down there and takes a photo straight up at the waterfall. That's the photo. Looks dope every time, but by just setting up there, taking the photo and leaving, you're missing all these other great opportunities that if you just turned your head slightly, you would see. So this dope looking staircase here, you get all this awesome like sort of water spray from the waterfall inside like the staircase itself. Um, and no one ever seems to photograph it. It's literally, You've only got to just walk slightly left of the waterfall and it's right there, but people just seem to overlook it. So the plan today was to come and stand underneath the waterfall there, take the normal photo, show you what the normal photo looked like. Unfortunately, I can't go and take the normal photo because it's all blocked off, I can't get down there. And then what I was going to do was I was going to walk slightly to the side, look away from the waterfall and shoot this dope staircase, which no one ever seems to photograph. It looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. It looks like you could be in Helm's Deep or something down there, but I've kind of got an unfair advantage now that the bridge is blown out and the barricades are up and stuff because it just looks dope anyway. Don't let that detract from my point. So I'm going to go and shoot it now. Uh, weather ceiling, please don't fail me now. <laughs> So I am very, very wet. <laughs> I guess this kind of proves the point more than ever, really, that um, you can't rely on the one sort of shot. Like you've got to be ready to just try other things and think outside the box and look at different, look at what's around the thing that you're trying to shoot. Like if I turned up today to just try and shoot the waterfall, you know, get that shot out the front that I was saying about earlier, then it would have been a total washout. I wouldn't have been able to even get into that area to take that photo. So I'd have come here and come home if I hadn't looked around for something else to shoot. So, perspective. But yeah, that definitely was not easy. Like I had to run up and down the stairs. Uh, I'd have to sort of down my settings in at the top of the stairs, run down, try and bang off a photo uh, before I got absolutely soaked or my gear got soaked, my lens was unusable, and then I had to run back up, dry it off, check if I got the photo, and then rinse and repeat until I was happy. Uh, I think it's hard to tell on these little tiny camera screens uh, that I got the photo I wanted. We will find out when I get back uh, but I'm excited. That was very, very cool. And it was totally different to what I was expecting to do here today, which is ace. So it's always good to shoot from another perspective. 
I am so cold, I am soaking wet. I think it's safe to say that this walk home is gonna suck. I feel like, do you know in Lord of the Rings when Frodo's like halfway to Mordor and he's like, this is, this is a bigger task than I thought it would be. All right, so I can finally feel my fingers again. So I'm gonna throw the kettle on and I'm going to dump all the footage uh, I'm going to edit some photos in the office for a bit. So if there is one thing to take away from today's video, I would say that if you ever get to a location to shoot something, then just make sure that once you've got the shot that you're there to get, you have a little look around, there might be something else worth shooting there too. Like if we hadn't approached that waterfall from the side today, then we wouldn't have any photos to show at all because you couldn't get in the front ways of the waterfall. So the only reason we have any photos to show for today is from looking for that other perspective. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, then make sure you like it. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be hanging out in the comments, uh, chatting and stuff. So feel free to come and say hello and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.